There's about four days to the governorship and House of Assembly election. And if there is one state to look out for, it is Delta State. The governorship election in the state promises to be tough as the battle is between three major contenders. PDP Sheriff Oborovori, uh, that of the APC Senator Ovi Omagege, and the candidate of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, Great Oboru. For months now, there has been a back and forth between th these parties. But now the big question is, who succeeds Governor Ifanyo Okoa in the Saturday polls? That is what we'll be talking about next. Joining us in the studio is a member of the Media and Publicity Directorate of APC-PCC. He's also the Deputy Director, Media and Communication Directorate of the Delta State APC Gubernatorial Campaign Council, Alex Enyego. It's nice to have you join us this morning. Thank you very much. Great. And it's good to be here. Yeah, it's good to, have, it's good to see you too. Now, Delta State is one of the states that a lot of drama is coming out because of the tussle between you know the gladiators there uh, for those who are watching from outside of delta it seemed really interesting uh, however <laughs> those who are within uh, uh, the trenches the political trenches there was could or would see things differently but how interesting is the drama and how is the preparation towards uh, the build-up towards the governorship election on saturday well, thank you. Like you said, it's a drama. Uh, but beyond the drama, you know, there's always uh, reality, you, you know, on the ground. And uh, the reality in this case is that uh, His Excellency, uh, Distinguished Senator Uvioma Gege, the Deputy President of the Senate, uh, stands shoulder above other contenders, which you have described as two major contenders, uh, the PDP, Sharif, and then uh, the whole horse, if you will, Great Ogboru, who has been uh, running maybe this is about the fourth or fifth time, mm -hmm. if, if I can recall. But uh, because of what uh, Senator Uvi Omagege has done in this past eight years in the Senate, uh, he has distinguished himself. He has represented very well, very well, the Delta Center Senatorial District and even extended to the other two senatorial districts in terms of uh, adding value in terms of project. In the Delta Center, for instance, there is no part of that senatorial district that he has not touched in terms of development. And uh, extending it to Delta South too, you know, assisting solar light and the rest of them roads, and the uh, Delta North Senatorial District too. Mm. So, like I always say, he's coming in as governor uh, after the March 11th uh, election because we know he will win this election. All odds favor him. Uh, even those big names in the other opposition party, be it PDP and the other, they're, they're crossing over to APC. Uh, you know, you had last week a former secretary to the state government uh, Vizure Macaulay uh, threw in the towel and uh, resigned from the PDP. We know that, we know, even though he has not spoken it, we know that the structure of the former governor of the, of the state, uh, Chief James Oranefe Bori, uh, they have declared their support through the, the, an interest group. Uh, the DUG. That, yes, the DUG. They have declared their support. Delta the, Unity Group. Thank you. And uh, even the obedient because they know, you know, they don't have uh, their candidate, the gubernatorial candidate is not in contention. They have declared their support for Obioma Gege. Mind you, uh, Obioma Gege is a landlord in the Labour Party. He won his uh, senatorial seat the first time under the Labour Party. So he understands the Labour Party structure. They know him. They trust him. And he has performed. You know, it was later he crossed over to APC because he wanted to be in the ruling party. He does not want uh, his senatorial distri district, nay, Delta State, to be in the opposition at the federal level. And that's why he moved from Labour Party to the APC. But, but you should know that uh, Labour Party and obedience are not necessarily the same. Absolutely, I know that. For uh -huh. sure. So when you say move from Labour Party, uh, uh, but, 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 obedience uh, are not, because you know, obedience won the, the presidential day. Yeah. Uh, talk to how do you, how do you now discount that very development that 
to B1 delta. How? How do you discount it for the governorship election? Why do you think Pella, by the way, Pella was my classmate in the government college, really. Uh, wasn't my classmate or my junior, I don't remember, but you know, we're in the same holy house in yeah. the government college. You know, the thing is, do we just say that, oh, they won the presidential election, so because uh, we have APC and PDP who are well known, uh, the governorship is going to be that. Are you underestimating the capacity of labor to spring a surprise? Well, I, I, in, in this instance, it is uh, the person, not the party. Pella is not Peter Obi, and it cannot be Peter Obi. And we are talking of this is not presidential election. Yes, in, in politics, you win some, you lose, lose some. Uh, oh, you are saying that in the in the presidential election, it was it was the person. It was yeah, OB. absolutely. So in the governor's election, it's going to also be the person. The person, not the party. Uh, like you said, and I agree with you that uh, the obedient is different from the Labour Party. Mm. I agree absolutely, and in the same vein, I am saying it in this case. It's about the person. Pella is not Peter Obi, uh, neither can it be uh, Uvioma Agege or, or the rest of them. So I am saying on the ground, in Delta State, all odds favor uh, Senator Uvioma Agege. And it's good, it's good to go. It's going to cruise to victory. Uh, because presidential election is different from governorship election. This is the local election. And Uvioma Agege has performed meritoriously well, particularly PDP is a no-go area. I mean, it's, uh, the presidential election showed very clearly the sitting governor is a contestant in that election. And he lost, a, and he he lost, lost. his own area. He lost his area. He lost his even uh, 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 federal constituency. He lost it to the opposition party. So, I mean, that's a result. Uh, that's his result. Uh, uh, card. But and why I did see the daughter, the daughter, daughter is They still complain that the election was rigged. Yes, yes. When they, when they win all those places, they accept it. They, they, they accept it. Uh, <laughs> we, didn't know, we didn't know, we didn't know, you know. Uh, yes, uh, Ashwa Jibola met Tinubu. We thought he would do better there, but at least he made a good showing. And uh, out of the three senatorial district in Delta State, APC won, won two. two. How? How? We, we, we swing. Uh, uh, the Delta South Senatorial District and that PDP said, has held for 24 years. Yes. The first time APC flipped it. But this is the, what the, 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 the presidential election was the worst election for PDP since 1990. Absolutely. It's the first time Absolutely. they are winning, they are losing the state in an election. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's to Delta tell has you, always that's been to tell you I was here the other day, I said the anger of Deltans against the current governor, Okoa, it's, you, you, can, you can only imagine it, the anger, and to think that he wants to bring his, uh, his, uh, his person, he wants to bring his successor, it's unthinkable. Deltans don't want to relate with it. And that's why uh, the election on the 11th of March is between uh, Deltans versus Governor Ifani Okoa. All right. Now, but the, a, a lot of persons have said, those, those who are, th those who are, coordinating the Labour Party. I still want us to dwell on that before okay. we leave. Those who are coordinating the Labour Party from, from, the, you know, from that perspective and ensuring that the Labour Party becomes what it becomes, they've seen some victories here and there. They have yeah. some senators now. They have some House of Rep members. This wasn't so in the past. And now they've, they've tasted that, okay, this is possible. They've seen, they've won in some states that were generally, in fact, I believe they themselves, they worked hard, but they didn't believe they could win some of the states yeah. that they won. Now, the conversation is now tilting towards, let us do the same thing in the next election. You have said, well, it was, it was the person, but the momentum is still there for them to uh, go out the same way. So in Delta State, what, what are you seeing in that regard that that's the, how, how the last election uh, came out will not be the same one, the same way that it will go in, uh, in the governorship election? Like I said, governorship is not presidential election. Mm -hmm. Governorship is more local, uh, you know, and uh, we know ourselves there. And we know the candidates 
by their track record, you know. And uh, presidential election will be was not everywhere. It's just because, like I said, it's a movement, you know. It's totally different this time around. It's a different ball game. It's just like comparing apple and orange, you know. They are two different things. What will determine the winner of this election at the various state level? I mean, it's just like uh, it's wishful thinking for the Labour Party and the obedient to think that, oh, they will replicate mm. what happened on February 25th mm. at the various state level. It's just like thinking, is it not wishful thinking to think that Labour well, why, Party well, will win Lagos, for instance? But why not? I mean, it's not it's totally it, it is... impossible because the dynamics are different. A lot of things, a lot of factors went into uh, the narrow win of Labour Party in Lagos. The three senatorial seats won by APC, most of the House of Rep. So, I mean, how less than about 9,000 something votes and all of that, uh, you know. So, the, the even that, even that, even that number is being contested. Contested, now. I know. Mm -hmm. And where the APC is contesting it, mm -hmm. uh, too, because uh, we hear a lot of stories, but I don't want to go into mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. now. So, it would be wishful thinking for the Labour Party to think that they will replicate that. They cannot, certainly not in Delta State. Okay. Certainly not in Delta State because right. Uvioma Agege is far ahead, far ahead. Okay. Now, uh, you, you were talking about uh, the fact that there's a difference between how the presidential election went yeah. and how the governorship is going to go. Yeah. Now, what factors do you think will shape the way the governorship election will go, especially in Delta State? Uh, like I said, it's the track record mm. of uh, the candidates. Uh, what have you? What of what positions have you held in the past or in the recent past? How did you perform? You understand. And in this case, the uh, PDP candidate, for instance, has been the speaker. He's a lawmaker, and we know how good or how bad he is. Uh, you know, in that office uh, as a speaker, because a speaker should speak, and we don't. Uh, we know how he has been speaking. You know, and what, are, uh, what he has been speaking. Uh, and what he has been speaking. And uh, uh, we have seen Senator Bioma Gigi just within the span of eight years. He rose to become the Deputy Senate President. You understand? And that is, uh, I think that's unprecedented in Delta State uh, from that region. And uh, at his age, he's a, he's a relatively young, young man. And he has performed well. He has distinguished himself. And like I said, he has re represented his senatorial district extremely well. He has extended it to the other two senatorial districts. And these are facts, verifiable facts. And uh, so in terms of his track record, he has performed. People can verify. The electorate know him. They can relate with him. And that's why, in fact, he now, Uvioma again, Delta State, is a movement. It's bipartisan now. Like I told you, people from obedience, they publicly declare for him. People from PDP publicly declare for him. So these are the things, these are the factors. In this case, you can't use oh, religion, you can't use ethnicity, unlike in the, at the federal level, mm. where the obedience use religion and ethnicity to blackmail, to hoodwink some of the youths and all to of bully. that. To bully. That, to bully and all of that. And that is not going to happen at the state level. It cannot happen in Delta, it cannot happen in Lagos, so Olu is a Christian, so you cannot use religion against him, you cannot use ethnicity against him, because virtually all the people contesting are Yorubas. So the dynamics are different, the, 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 uh, the absolutely different. So, and that's although, why I say it's a tall even, dream. Even in Lagos. Even in Lagos. Even if all of them are Yoruba, some people are contesting that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a I, matter I, for, I know where you are going to go So really, the dynamics are different. Okay. Uh, yeah. so, and that's why I say it's a tall dream or the obedience or Labour Party to think they can replicate. They cannot even replicate 20% of what happened at the presidential level in this governorship, in any state. Mm. Right. Maybe, perhaps, perhaps, even in South, even in South East, I don't think uh, Soludo will want to lose as the national leader of APGA, or APUGA, as they call it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't think he would want to lose Anambra State, for instance. And Anambra State is the state of Peter Obi. Well, we wait to see because it was just recently, some weeks ago or months ago, made the national leader of Abga. 
And this is his first assignment. And, yes, uh, so I, I doubt very much if he would want to, even if it's just to make a statement. And there are other states like that. People want to make statements. The election, like I said, is local. And for Delta State, it is clear it will be on again with coast of victory. Very, very, nothing less. You're making it look as simple 60, as it is. You're making it look, look so simple. But you know, PDP yeah. has been around for forever. Yeah. They've had all the governors since yeah. Ibori to Odwaha, now to Okowa. Uh, they've had members of House of Assembly. Yeah. They have local government chairmen. Senators. They are still a formidable mm -hmm. presence. You're making it look like they're just, you got, you're just going to, to kick them out uh, uh, just because you have uh, a formidable candidate. It's not going to be that easy. Well, I, I, like I and said... And then some people are saying that the people that are living at the DUG yeah. are actually a faction of DUG and that DUG still stands with Okowa. Well, this, these are just uh, mm -hmm. uh, spin doctors with the mainstream. Well, no, they, are they, are spin, they are spin doctors. <laughs> the mainstream DUG, mm -hmm. we know them. And uh, uh, have, you, have you heard, Marissa, you are talking about former governor, have you heard former governor James Ibori campaign for Okoa? He has not even said anything. Have you, have you, have you, you understand? Yes, yes, yes. He's a former governor. People who speak you, to him. You understand? People, people who you speak know, to, to. These are. To, um, in Bori, in private. In private, yeah. He said that the man is really furious at... Uh, Abs absolutely. At, uh, at Okowa. Absolutely. And that uh, he says that, look, Okowa, I've not asked anything from you. So why are you imposing this man who was just... Uh, I won't use the word they said he used. You know, somebody who was not... Uh, who, who I, I cannot even present for anything... Uh, for, for, as ambassador of Delta State, why are you trying to impose such a man on on our people, and so on? He said it, that he's really he's really pissed, he's pissed off, as they say, to use that language. Yeah. So at the idea that uh, Okowa will want to impose that uh, that kind of person uh, on the state, and that is why I said earlier that the election on Saturday, eleventh of March, is between Deltans and uh, Governor Okowa, who wants to foist... Well, Okowa is a Delta. Foist, yeah, the, the, the rest of Deltans. It's like 99 against 1. <laughs> you know, the rest of Deltans are not happy with the idea that you want to... If, if, what, if, what, what if did he do? Quality, what did he do? What did, the, he do? what did Okowa do that, uh, that warranted this kind of... Uh, Anger, anger from Delta. Yes. Yes, there is no development in Delta. You are from Delta State. There is no development. The semblance of development we have in Delta State is in Asaba. Owa. Owa, not even Asaba. His own community. Asaba, the state capital, is not the best. We can talk about considering the over 4. Point, about 4.3 trillion that has come through Delta State in the last eight years. Look at Asaba. Is that a model capital uh, city? Look at Wari, the commercial is, nerve Wari, Wari, center Wari, of Delta State. Wari, Wari, Wari is it's in, it's in Shambo. Mm. So if nobody, no, you go out, not, no nightlife, nothing. It's like a dead zone. So people are unhappy with it and you want to bring your successor that is not even up to par. If you say, you know, yeah, they said it, Bori, it's not Bori up was to saying par. that. Bori once said that you have Ibori, you have Odwa, you have Okowa, yeah. and then you have uh, Abo, 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 Party Supreme and all of that. And, but we are seeing that now that even within PDP, they have resisted this. And that's why PDP is in shambles, total shambles. And they, that, that, that's the first leg of that presidential election. Okoa is a contestant, was a contestant in that election. He lost woefully, woefully. And that will happen even in a more woeful you get manner. A, you get a sense that, uh, this, that the people of Delta also see him, see Okoa, as 
betraying the South. No, that absolutely. Because, you know, it was yeah. Okowa that hosted the, the meeting the of governors. The first meeting, uh, even the sequel uh, meeting. Yes. Of when the they South, 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 uh, South, South governors. Not South, South, South. Yes, Southern South. Southern governors. Mm. The Southern governors. Yes, yes. yes. To, to, be, to make that declaration that the president must come from, from the, the South. South. Yeah. And that declaration, was, it was the host. And it's the host, and it's the one that uh, hoisted the whole idea, and the one that tossed it away. No, I, 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 I've said it before. The way the perception uh, of Deltans, the way they perceive of Nokoa and his uh, uh, governor colleagues, is that it's the modern day Judas Iscariot, yeah, that's you know, who betrayed uh, Jesus Christ. And the modern day Peter, biblical Peter, you know, who denied Jesus Christ even before the cock uh, crew. crew Israel, Israel, so Israel was. That Israel, is the way. Israel seems, seems bigger than, uh, numerically, seems bigger than that of uh, Judas. Because Judas uh, betrayed uh, uh, the 12 or 11. Le yeah. 11. But how many governors in the South? It betrayed more people. More, yeah, more people and, 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 yeah. and the citizens and the, the, the collective desire oh, of yes. the South. That power was shift. And that is even normal. Mm. And All right, you went and then negotiate mm. for let, vice let, let's talk so. about Let's talk about your candidates that yeah. uh, stands above others the way you said it. Now, uh, Senator Omagege, what, what is he bringing on board for Deltans? What should Deltans expect for from uh, an Omogigi governorship if he wins at the election? If he wins, it's, uh, his manifesto is very clear, and that's what he, he's been canvassing, you know, from units to ward to the 25 local government areas of Delta State. He's, he calls it uh, band to edge, that is build a new delta because there's nothing in delta now so we are starting from scratch so it's going to build completely build a new delta on the platform of what they call edge that's employment and empowerment uh, uh, development general development uh, uh, then uh, you talk of good governance which is very critical and then uh, everlasting and enduring peace and security the, that's the edge uh, but in, this, in doing this edge, you have to first build a new delta because it's not taking over anything from Okoa. Delta state is dead, so he has to build it. But on these four planks, that's what he's doing. And uh, so there will be, it's like a revolution in terms of uh, employment and empowerment. It's going to set up uh, what they call uh, uh, a, a program, needs program. Uh, under the employment and empowerment, whereby there will be an uh, uh, enabling environment for people doing small skills, small and medium scale businesses, mm -hmm. employment of young graduates. He believes that, you know, it's not all graduates that should just, once you just graduate, you want to, you want white collar jobs. You understand? And that's why he's investing. He will look critically at ICT, information and uh, communication technology. He wants uh, individuals, our graduates, you know, to be independent from the get-go. So it's focusing on employment and empowerment, women empowerment, youth empowerment, you know. Delta State is in debt, huge debt. I don't even, I pity the next governor. I pity uh, 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 the incoming governor, Obi Omar Gege, because uh, I don't know how we're going to do. Maybe they have to reschedule or renegotiate some of those debts. God, it's massive. We are talking of trillions of Naira. And uh, the interventionist agency is dead. The SOPADEC, the Delta State Oil Producing Area uh, Development Commission is dead. So it's going to revive a whole lot of things. So it's going to touch all structures, all sector, infrastructural development. There is no infrastructure in Delta State. Most of the things you have in Delta State are abandoned. You talk of uh, the industrial park that they've spent over almost 20 billion. On, it's just one building that is there, the industrial park in uh, who the full access. In fact, about twenty billion has been spent. Spent one building. Nice idea, nice concept. 
Or it's abandoned. Maybe, the maybe, trans, the maybe, trans warrior, the Shakri Bridge. Maybe it's one billion. Abandoned. One billion for uh, one window is one billion. <laughs> <laughs> the other window is one billion. <laughs> the trans, uh, the trans warrior, the Shakri Bridge, which would have, which would have opened up the whole area, link, you know, the up, the urban to the interior of the uh, riverine area. Abandoned. Bakua for eight years. He did not put a penny into it. This is a, pro a project, you know, conceptualized by the administration of Ibori. Uduwe, Governor Duan took it to some level. Okowa came, abandoned it. Everything was just abandoned, abandoned. The power project, everything is abandoned. The super deck that he met, he was at least running somehow, dead under him. But there, 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 there were news reports that uh, he built schools and uh, renovated a lot of so many... Uh, schools in Delta State. Oh, the, these are just talks. They, they're going to schools, just painting them and whitewash and all of that. Did, did he? What school did he build? Those schools are existing. It, didn't, schools it, are didn't, existing. it didn't touch my own secondary uh, school, government college. Government, yes, we, so it just we, our it. people, uh, my school people, even went to him to so so that we could we could we could even get some kind of uh, permission from the state, some permission so that we could really recruit. Uh, recruit uh, teachers yeah. and uh, you know raise the level of the school. It didn't even grant us. It didn't spend money. And it didn't allow us to do what we wanted to do in the school. Yeah. Only to build buildings that we could we could do and and paint everything and revive it. It didn't spend a, a, a couple. You can see that's a testimony and for that kind of school, mm. of the pioneer schools in Delta State. If you cannot even think of that, mm. then talk less of uh, the the yesterday schools. So yeah, all those ones are just spin doctors, you know, mm. coming around to say he did this, he did that. So he did not do anything in the educational sector. Wow. Let, let's talk about entertainment. Yeah. Delta State is one of the states that has some of the, all the biggest talents in the movie, in the music. Comedy. Comedy. Yeah. You know, Delta State has a lot of them. In fact, I think Delta State, Delta State has a collection of... Uh, a higher number or highest number of yeah. uh, entertainers in Nigeria, those who are doing Nigeria proud. Maybe there's too much entertainment the there. Even in sports. <laughs> Absolutely. Those who are doing, who have done Nigeria, who are still doing Nigeria proud in sports, a lot of them come from Delta State. Uh, what will Omar Ege do as a governor if he wins to harness all of these people for the betterment of uh, Delta Great. State? And that's one thing that fascinates. I'm from the entertainment industry, I have a major uh, player in Nollywood. I, and that's why I'm very fascinated about the EDGE program of uh, His, His Excellency Senator Obioma Gege, the program he has for the entertainment industry, the sports, and all of that. And uh, there is this, in his blueprint, there's going to be various academies across the three senatorial districts, whereby be it our, those in the film industry, in Nollywood, the music industry, the stand-up comedy industry, whereby there will be training and retraining, and is going to do this on public-private partnerships, set up these academies across the three senatorial districts, and with all the attendant benefits. So I'm very fascinated about that. And also because it's going to be on public-private uh, public partnership, that shows that it will work. That is his idea. The same thing in the sports sector. It, so he has all this well thought out in his manifesto. And uh, I'm, I'm happy you mentioned that. Uh, so the academy alone, I mean, we don't have any of such currently in Delta State. And he has said that is what he will do. And he has said his words are his bond. Anything he says he will do, and it should be held to his manifesto. And that's why he's there in black and white. And uh, we believe in him. Deltas believe in him. And uh, that's why the mobilization on ground for him to win on the 11th of March, it's massive, it's awesome. You just, you can only imagine it. Hope you'll not be disappointed if it doesn't turn out the way. The way you, are, you are showing so much enthusiasm. Just the way I showed, yeah. just the way I showed enthusiasm for Ashwa Jibola, I met no, you, you know, did, the last did, time you I came people didn't deliver in Delta. No, <laughs> but, but, we did deliver, but we did well. Yeah. We won you two, only 90, no, votes. we won two senatorial districts out of one. We took one from PDP that they have held for 24 years. If other years. states perform like that, we won't win with uh, 90,000 votes. No, you win eh? some, you lose some. Whoever thought that we will win in Bainway? 
Oh, we knew that with hey, Father with with, with, with yeah, No, with Father yeah. Alia there. Fa Father we knew Alia in so Yes, Father, they yeah. called him. You, who, <laughs> who, who, yes, Father. Who, when the author was campaigning, people would say, yeah. yes, Father. Whoever, whoever <laughs> thought, whoever thought, yeah, maybe with the wicked power, that will win in rivers. Mm. Well, the we, traditional PDP state. Whoever thought so? Whoever thought we, they say we lost in Lagos by mm. about 9,000 something votes. Whoever yeah. thought we would lose in But I, I, I think declare the results. So, so like as what you Ahmed Tinubu mm. said, you win some, you lose some. That's, that's a Democrat. That's, Democrat. Yeah. that's a Democrat. So in, those days, in, in those Delta, days, we're in Delta, there. Some people are saying that this is the this is the first time we're having election in Delta State, and that yeah. in those days, when you held elections, the PDP will look at the mainland results, and when they saw that the thing was not uh, favoring them, then. They now go to the water side where nobody has, where there's no I neck, okay. there's nobody, <laughs> and then the figures start coming from uh, dead fish and living fish <laughs> and uh, crocodiles <laughs> and snails. All of them started having uh, votes, yeah. and then you counted all of them, yeah. and then the figures yeah. came up. But now, uh, no snail can appear on beavers. If I even see snail, see beavers, you will just <laughs> go inside the shed. So this is what you want. You want chopper. <laughs> and, and that's why, you know, that has been, and, and that has been, I like yeah. what you said, that yeah. it's the first time, it's about the first time we're yeah. having real election. Yeah. And PDP has been on the mantle since 24 years. Yeah. So that has been the PDP style. Yes. And, uh, of right and this election, because of the technology, mm -hmm. beavers, we had real, at least real elections, substantially. Mm -hmm. Substantially. Real elections. You mean the substantial. Yeah. We had real elections. Yeah. And uh, I voted in my uh, committee in the board of Aziz. You understand? So this is the kind of numbers that come from there. In the PDP days. Borodo Aziz. You, that's an area that you, you can't even, you, they didn't even get uh, uh, up to 10% of those numbers this time around. Because it's, we call it dry voting. Mm -hmm. You do dry voting, there is no padding. You understand? And yet, Anugorodo is a wet area. Yes, it, it's water. <laughs> it's not water. It's, it's an but the voting is dry. It's an island. It's an island. It's an island. <laughs> but talk to, talk to us before we go, uh, just in a minute. What, what role will ethnicity play in the governorship election in Delta State? We, we often know that, uh, you know, the mix, Shakiri, Soko, Robo, you know, and all of that. Uh, talk to us how all of those will configure. I, I, I don't think it, the, the main, the frontline contenders are all robots. Okay. Start with the, 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 the APC, the PDP, and the APGA. You will. They are because all it's all zoned to zone central. Because of all that uh, zoning, zone to central, which yeah. is not conventional, mm. but that's like an agreement. Okay. Yeah. You understand? So the other zones. Anioma side and then the Delta South, mm -hmm. Shekiri, Soko, Ijo. Uh, Ijo. Mm -hmm. We are supporting Senator Vioma again massively. We are supporting him because he has extended his tenor, the value is, he has added to Delta Central. He extended it to the Shekiri, Isoko, and Ijo. So we are going to vote for him across ethnic groups. It has nothing to do with ethnicity in any case. Uh, Senator Obio Magege, Matanali, this is Shakiri. Mm -hmm. The grandmother's grave, as we speak, because the grandmother is from the popular Nana Olomu family. Mm -hmm. His grandmother is Ni Nana. The grave is there in Koko. The his headquarters father, of Wari, not uh, but, local but, government. But his, um, his mother is from, Oru, his father is from Oru. Yes, that's, that's, that's my mother's. That's my mother's village. That, uh -huh. you, you can, you can, <laughs> so you can see the meat. You know, so uh, that is it, why ethnicity plays no yeah. role. Okay. Obioma Gege is loved across ethnic lines. Okay. And the Shekiri, Ijo, Isoko, Urobo, Anioma will vote massively for him across and the country. And Anioma is not one. You have Agbo, you have... Yeah, I just uh, call them Anioma. I don't want to call them... Uh, uh, it's the uh, general... Uh, just the... Yeah, okay. I call them Anioma. They are one. All right, we, it's we one have to, All right, we have to leave it here now. Alex yeah. Enyego, uh, the member of the Media and Publicity Directorate of APC PCC in Delta State. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Thanks for having me. And we wish you well. Thank you. Thank you.